Today's question comes from Manchester in the United Kingdom. Adil asks, is there any way Google identifies sister websites? For example, relationships between ebay.co.uk and ebay.com. Does linking between one to the other, is that taken as paid or unnatural? And I'm talking strictly about good, genuine CCTLDs for businesses. Okay, so I'll try to give you the best answer I can, uh, but I'll also talk about non-good, non-genuine CCTLD businesses. So it is the case that we try to interpret as best we can the relationships that there are on the web. At the same time, it's very helpful if you can tell us a little bit about what your sites are so that we can return the correct content to users regardless of which country they're coming from. So let's look at the spectrum. On one hand, you've got ebay.co.uk and ebay.com, and we need to know that those are somehow related. And then on the other hand, we've got all the way down to somebody who has, you know, a hundred different websites all about medical malpractice or something like that. So let's concentrate on the CCTLD case for, for the initial question here. Um, it is the case that we try to figure out that those sites are related, but we are doing the best we can, and if we get a little bit more help, then we can say, oh, this is a German user, they should get ebay.de or your site.de. If it's a French user, they should get the FR version, that sort of thing. So the best way to help is to use something called hreflang. You can do that inside of a web page where you can mark up, hey, on ebay.com, the French version of this page is over here, or the German version of this page is over here. Or if you don't want to have that in all the different pages on your site, you can also make a sitemap. And you can just say, okay, over here is one version for a country and over here is another version for a country. That's really helpful because we try to interpret where users are coming from, what their language, locale, all that sort of thing is, and then show them the best version of your page. But if you are able to tell us what are the actual versions of your page, we're much less likely to mix that up. So that's a big high order factor that I would say. Um, it's definitely the case that we know that those sites are related many, of the many different times. And so um, <clears throat> by using that information, we can try to make sure that we show the best possible result. Uh, if you tell us, then we can do a slightly better job of it. Now, we might or might not trust links between any given sites, you know, on any given basis. But for the most part, uh, I wouldn't worry about them being viewed as paid or unnatural links because it is pretty normal for sites that are, you know, the .co.uk or the .com to link to each other. That's a pretty normal, natural reaction. If you can, I would do it in a sort of organic way. I wouldn't have, if you have 50 different sites, I wouldn't link to all 50 sites down on the foot of your website. That can start to look pretty spammy to users. Um, instead, you might just link to no more than, you know, three or four, five down at the foot or that sort of thing. Or have a link to a global page and then the global page can talk about all the different versions and country versions of your website. That's a great way. You normally don't have to have a ton of cross-linking between all your different domains for Google to go ahead and be able to figure out that sort of information. Now, if instead of being, you know, dot T -t uh, country code TLDs, you know, .co.uk or, you know, .ch or something like that. If you've got stuff that's all in one area, like .com, and you've got, you know, 50 or 100 different websites, that is something where I'd be really a lot more careful about linking them together. Um, and that's the sort of thing where, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if, if we don't want to necessarily treat the links between those different websites exactly the same as we treat them as editorial votes from some other website. But for the case that you're asking about, which is the top level different country codes, I would definitely recommend using the hreflang because that's the easiest way to tell us which sites are which so that we don't mess it up when we try to give the best search results to users.